Next question is from Anita Rosales, 90. What exercise would you recommend to alleviate knee pain? We got to figure out what the knee pain's yeah, from first, gotta, right? Well, so gotta trace that back. Yeah. Now, generally speaking, in your guys' experience, when someone has chronic knee pain, IT related normally. It, yeah, it's coming from the hips or the ankles or the feet. Nine out of ten times, the knee is moving in a way that is not ideal, and it has been for a long time because. Your ankles, your feet, or your hips are not doing what they're supposed to. Because if you look at the knee, it really it, it, it flexes and extends. Yeah, it, it bends. It bends in it. It doesn't rotate. It doesn't bend laterally. It just flexes and extends. But your ankle can move in all kinds of different directions. Your foot moves in a lot of different directions, and your hips move in a lot of yeah, different yeah. directions. And if they lack strength and stability, the knee is what takes that pressure. And so, in my experience when I've had clients with chronic knee pain, when I fix their hips and their ankles. I mean, uh, it's like 70% of the time I can get rid of almost all the knee pain from doing that. I was like, so I, this is what really introduced me to foam rolling. I used to foam roll like crazy because of my, my knee pain in my hip and I'd get it a lot from playing, like I played basketball and I'd have just excruciating knee and hip pain and not, like the foam rolling would relieve that. Like, so it felt amazing to foam roll. It would give me relief. Then I got smart about it and said, okay, I need to do this before I play ball. And so that would loosen it up. But then it would just keep happening. So it, I wasn't fixing the root cause. I was just kind of putting a Band-Aid over At least the foam rolling was at least alleviating it, letting me do that. Um, and I just assumed that it had something to do with my hip. You know, it was always, I, I figured hip. It wasn't until I met Brink did I realize that it actually stemmed all the way from my foot. Mm. So because my foot was was excessively pronating on the left side more than my right side, when you when that does that, so when the, the foot you know collapses inward, that also internally rotates the the femur. So it winds that IT band. So the IT band is extremely tight, and then it's pulling on the hip, and then it's pulling on on the patella, the knee, right? So that would cause that. And so even though I'd foam roll, it would kind of make it relax and loosen it up. I'd feel good. Mm -hmm. As soon as Temporary I go, relief. So yeah, exactly. As soon as I go play ball and I'm moving around, my foot's still pronate and collapsing. I don't see that because I'm playing. You're not paying attention to it. But because I'm pushing off like that all day long, it's just tightening up on mm -hmm. that IT. And then I would just keep, I was in this loop. It wasn't until, and I don't have this at all anymore, right? So this is, a lot of this was related to the low back pain I talk about, the hip pain I had. All of this was all stemming from the foot. As soon as I- You're gone. You fixed yeah, it all. Gone. I haven't had I haven't had to foam roll my IT in years now. And it was all because of the foot. It was stemming from that. And it was causing the knee and the hip pain. Once I addressed my my foot strength, my ankle mobility, uh, that completely changed.